Hey there friends and enemies, Jopa here again, and at this point of episode Revenant in Destiny 2, everyone knows that the Skull of Dire Ahamkara exotic helmet and the Bad Juju exotic pulse rifle are a perfect combination for spamming Nova Bombs on the Warlock. However, I wanted to make a build with these weapons with my own twist, this one allowing you to alternate using your super with being transcendent pretty much all the time and it feels absolutely phenomenal especially in ad heavy content like onslaught so i want to showcase my own twist on this i do feel like this is one of the more fun builds i've seen some people say that bad juju even with the buffs isn't good enough for high-end content but you'll see in the gameplay that i am way under power during certain parts of this onslaught expert activity and still performing really really well because i'm using it to finish off enemies that are oftentimes weak already because of transcendence and all my abilities so anyway let me just jump right into it starting off with the bad juju exotic pulse rifle kills refill the magazine increased damage and grant super energy the increased damage is nice so you always want to focus on smaller enemies first and foremost with that and then you're going to proceed on you can use whatever grenade launcher you want in this slot i'm using harsh language it is a wave frame that i do very much enjoy especially with destabilizing rounds as it adds volatile to a lot of the enemies which is very nice and then we've got edge transit or whatever uh void grenade launcher you want grenade launchers are especially good this season because of the artifact perks but you can use a rocket launcher linear fusion or anything like that if you have a different Different preference obviously i'm also using skull of all, dire ahamkara this one so provides additional damage resistance during nova bomb that doesn't really matter nova bomb uh, final blows and weapon final blows while you have devour grant super energy and so you're gonna want devour at all times with the prismatic warlock you are going to see that you're gonna get devour quite often so i am running phoenix dive this is my favorite on the warlock right now doing the little dive that cures you is phenomenal especially when you pair it with the hellion aspect because as soon as you use it you will get that solar mortar which counts for ability kills which is important and i'll mention in a little bit but yeah you're going to use the phoenix dive and then you're going to start sending out those balls of fire which is phenomenal i use blink on this you can use whatever movement you want a uh, penumbra blast a lot of people want a melee that maybe will do a little bit more damage uh, and get some kills, but I don't think any of the Warlock, uh, maybe Arcane Needle could be useful here, but for me, I prefer Penumbral Blast because I do want to incorporate some of the other artifact perks where I am freezing enemies. Then you've got Storm Grenade. This is my favorite. I think it does a bunch of damage, even on higher end content. And then we got Feed the Void. So defeating a target with any ability activates Devour. So you're going to do this very often. And any ability includes your Super, includes your Transcendent abilities, it includes your uh, Melee it includes your grenade, anything like that, including your Hellion as well. As far as the fragments, I'm going to rock Grace. This is so that way with my bad juju, I'm getting transcendent all the time uh, and, and just essentially upgrading my transcendence energy. Then we got Awakening, so rapidly defeating targets with light or darkness damage or super final blows. That's the important part. Super final blows will give me that elemental pickup. Then uh, defeating targets with grenade final blows grants volatile rounds to void weapons. This is useful with uh, the uh, grenade launcher, the wave frame. Then we've got the uh, facet of purpose orb of power grants an overshield with the void super and then facet of hope. So while you have an elemental buff, your class ability regenerates more often. So you can pretty much spam the Phoenix dive. And so moving on from this, some of the important artifact perks that you really want to keep in mind first off supernova is really nice picking up a void bre beach a breach causes your next source of void damage to create a large weakening pulse so you generate those breaches and then you can use your wave frame grenade launcher to hit a bunch of enemies and create that weakening pulse which is very very nice uh your void abilities uh 
and weapons with a dark ether trait, which I'm not using, do bonus damage to targets that are affected by stasis debuff. This is the main reason that I am running the stasis melee, so that way I can debuff enemies with this if I'm not weakening them, which is very nice as well. Again, shattering enemies or, or defeating frozen and enemies. Uh, so shattering the stasis crystals will allow me to uh, shoot those short devices. is very, very nice. Uh, not really using frost armor that much. Concussive reload is nice. Uh, this is going to weaken bosses and champions, especially with your grenades, which is awesome. And power from pain. Rapid final blows against weakened combatants grants you devour. This is just in case you don't have your abilities. You want multiple ways to generate the devour if at all possible so that way you have that constant uptime so you can get your super energy back really really quickly and then yeah that's pretty much it. Uh, this one is also not bad. The gathering stasis shards grant stacks uh, of crystalline converter. Next power states is melee creates stasis crystals equal to the number of stacks you have sometimes you'll randomly see me pop up a bunch of stasis crystals and that's why now moving on i'm going to talk about the mods real quick and then the play style because i do feel like it's important with this one a little bit more so than other builds that i've done uh Kinetic Siphon is huge. You're going to be finishing enemies with bad juju a lot. Void Siphon also is kind of nice, especially with your uh, spamming of your harsh language or void grenade launcher there. And then uh, Radiant Light, that's just uh, to help out my teammates in something like Onslaught. Heavy Handed and Firepower. Heavy Handed is not really necessary. You could swap that out, and it's something that I throw on a lot of my builds but I just prefer that. You could actually swap to Void Loader, I think would do very, very well there instead. And then you have uh, Damage Resist of whatever type of content you're taking on. Void Reserves is very important, and then Concussive Dampener. Uh, double Void Weapon Surge, as well as Better Already. And then uh, Distribution Reaper and Powerful Attraction. You're spamming your class ability, so Powerful Attraction is absolutely massive to collect as many orbs as possible. For this build, essentially you're going to start off with one of your abilities, either sending a grenade or your melee into the enemies. Maybe use your harsh language and then start finishing enemies with your bad juju to start generating as much super as possible. If you see in the gameplay, I am essentially just going from super to transcendent pretty much all the time. And the reason I'm able to do that is because I am constantly getting kills with my abilities or my bad juju. And so it leads to this really fun loop to kind of feel supercharged even in harder content. And the best part is survivability is super high. Not only do you get consistent void overshields, but also the healing is unbelievable because of devour and better already. And the Phoenix Hive all might be a little bit overkill, but for me, they are very, very beneficial because on harder difficulty content, you can get two shot by enemies and that will put you in a lot of danger. And especially when you're trying to stay alive because your teammates are struggling, it can put you in a really bad way. So yeah, the gameplay loop for this is incredibly fun. I felt like I had my super up either every round or every other round when I'm doing Onslaught. And if I didn't have my super, I had either Transcendent or my super every single round and it was actually insane. That's why I like this build so much. I do think it's one that I'll be using quite a bit going forward as well. And I kind of fell in love with the Warlock for this one. I haven't used the Warlock a ton this season. You've already seen my builds. If you've been paying attention to the channel already, for the titan which i really enjoy right now but i'd love to hear from you guys what are you guys running on the warlock is there anything that you're going to be changing going forward or any maybe underrated weapons or exotic armors that you think i should be making builds with for the warlock let me know in the comments down below my name is jopa have a good one i'll catch you all later